If you ever have the opportunity to visit Palo Duro Canyon, keep your eyes open. You might see a cowboy somewhere on the canyon floor painting on location. Jack Sorensen has been painting the Palo Duro since he was 16 and credits the canyon with teaching him how to paint. He says the range of colors down there is unmatched. He still visits the canyon at least once a month to paint in plain air. He says that painting from life keeps his eyes sharp, seeing the accurate colors and values of nature. He believes that working strictly from photographs teaches false, simple colors and values. I always try to do paintings that combine things that I love, like we talked about, and horses in Powder Canyon are a natural for me. If I can combine both of those in one painting, I've hit a home run. And it's kind of hard to draw and paint horses coming down a hill. You don't see it that often. Most people don't, but I grew up in the bottom of the canyon, so I saw it every day. Knowing this, Jack couldn't have had a better childhood for what he does now. His father built Six Gun City, an Old West frontier town and guest ranch on the rim of the Palo Duro. While other kids were selling fast food or delivering newspapers, Jack was driving a stagecoach and participating in mock gunfights. Later, he broke and trained horses. I love training horses and I broke 96 horses in a little over five years. And I had a gift. God gave me the ability to calm down a horse. I don't care how nervous he is. Some horses, when you're slicker and I'm getting them used to people, they just shake, they're so nervous. And I could always get one to calm down. I was probably 10 or 11 when I announced to my family, I'm gonna be an artist, professional artist. And I, my dad and I were at a horse sale in Close, New Mexico, and we were sitting at the cafe, and there was a, a calendar by Tom Ryan by our table, just the way God arranged it, he put us at that table. And I'm admiring this painting, and I tell my dad, that's what I wanna do, I wanna do paintings like that for calendars and stuff. And I was about 10, like I said, and he just blew me off like it's nothing. So I made a formal announcement to all of my family within a week or so. I had everybody in there and I said, I'm going to be a professional artist. And, you know, <laughs> the response I got wasn't real good. <laughs> and what an accomplished artist he has become. His work has appeared on the cover of more than 80 magazines, including Western Horseman, The Cattleman, The Quarter Horse Journal, Beef and America's Horse. His Christmas and greeting cards by Lean and Tree have sold in the millions. Feature articles about his work have appeared in Southwest Art, Western Art Collector, Persimmon Hill, and many more. Harvest House has published two books of his paintings. His work has been used for Western novel covers, music CD covers, throw blankets, calendars, and numerous jigsaw puzzles. My, my mom was a jigsaw puzzle person. When I started doing jigsaw puzzles, she thought, man, he's finally made it. <laughs> he's at that upper level of fine art. <laughs> After more than 40 years as a full-time artist, Jack still loves his job. He paints eight hours a day, six days a week. Well, see, I think the job of an artist is to make my heart connect with your heart. And so I pray before I start every painting that it'll glorify God and touch people's hearts. And so when I'm painting anything, uh, kids, you know, I'm trying to spark an emotion in the viewer, make them remember something about their childhood or something that joy in their life. When my great, great grandkids look at one of my paintings long after I'm gone, I want them to know who I was. How did I feel about this world, you know? The joy that I got from horses and buffalo and everything. And so what I'm striving for in every painting is that connection between me and you. Even though we, we never meet, when you see my paintings, hopefully there's a connection there. I, I believe that art is what I'm meant to do. And so I thank God any obstacle that ever came up, God would find a way around it. And I never had pressure to be a success because I put pressure on God because he gave me the gift. And I always, I tell people this all the time. I used to pray, God, I know you want me to do this, but I need a house payment soon. <laughs> and he came through every time. And so it's just, 
yeah, I think if you step out in faith and whatever you're doing that's out of the norm, because there in my life there wasn't really anybody that ever encouraged me to be an artist, ever. I mean, because they didn't know that was even a possibility. They just, you know, we're horse people and farmers. And so I get the sweetest letters and emails, uh, especially people that are dying, they will say, my dad was in hospice. The only thing he wanted by his bed were your Christmas cards. And so they would show me a picture of the, this guy with my Christmas cards all taped around his bed. And I know my prayers being answered when that happens because it is touching people. And you know, I don't know how you could have a better way to make a living but bring joy to people.